Welcome to another Big Daddy Adventure. Today we're going to make some no grind pipe saddles using my chop saw. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and set up the chop saw. These uh, are the dimensions that you need to use for two inch cuts or two inch schedule 40 pipe and inch and a half schedule 40 pipe. Both of them you could probably use 35 degrees, but uh, I usually use 35 on the two inch and then I drop down to 33 or towards the lower end on the inch and a half schedule 40 pipe. Before we start laying out the pipe, I wanted to point out an interesting thing about the schedule 40 pipe. There's a seam on the inside. I don't know if you can see it here. And that seam I use as an indicator to try to keep my saddles aligned. So if I have to make a saddle between two verticals, what I'll use is I'll use that seam as a mark from one end of the pipe to the other end of the pipe. So, and then I'll align my saddles off of that seam. That way I know that if I have two vertical pipes at each end, and then I align my saddles to that, then the saddles will line up properly. One of the key things about making these saddles on this pipe is to be able to cut uh, angle cut 180 degrees out. So you'll cut it on one side, then you'll rotate the pipe 180 degrees and cut it on the other side. Here I just made a real simple cardboard template by wrapping a piece of cardboard around the pipe, folding it in half, marking the midpoint. I'll align that midpoint up to the seam, and then when I fold it around, then where those two pieces of cardboard meet, that'll be 180 degrees out from the uh, seam. So that's a good way to mark a pipe. And then now that you have the two marks 180 degrees out, then now you can start making your, your length of pipe adjustments. Again, whatever length of pipe you're going to need, you'll need to then add, I guess on two inch, it's around three quarters of an inch to each end. And then on inch and a half, you got to add about an inch and a half on each end. The key is, is between the saddles is the dimension you usually want when you're measuring between your, your vertical uprights. Now it's time to get cutting. Here what I've done is I've aligned each of those cuts up to the chop saw. I'm going to go ahead and cut the first cut here and then I'll rotate the pipe 180 degrees and chop out the other side. Then it's just a matter of rinsing and repeating on the other end. One good thing to keep watch here is uh, since you've used that seam as that kind of alignment point on the uh, pipe, what you can do is you can actually look at the other end of the pipe to make sure that that seam is either on the very top or the very bottom. And that helps keep the saddle al saddles aligned. So when I first started using this method, I would go ahead and run a grinder on it just to get that little extra tip to, to bait up to the pipe easier. But then I found that if I just put a crescent wrench on just that little piece that sticks up above the saddle, then uh, I just put a little bit of weight on it and it just bends it out just a hair. And as uh, soon as I did that, I didn't need to do any grinding on these saddles ever again. <laughs> so uh, it worked out good. And as you see here, it's a, it's a nice fit on that two inch pipe. Well, now it's the moment of truth. In my case, I tried to get a 10 inch pipe out of it. And we did. We got 10 inches between the saddles. So in my case, I ended up adding three quarters of an inch to both ends and then made the cuts off of those two points. The other test here is I'm just lining it between two vertical pipes and the pipes stay vertical. So those saddles are also aligned using that seam to keep everything aligned. So worked out pretty good. Well, thanks for coming on another workshop project adventure with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this shop notes number three about saddle cutting with a chop saw and getting everything to fit just right without grinding. And as usual, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to go on more project adventures with me, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.